Another day, another beautiful beat up assessment. I was gonna bust out the maps and show you guys what I'm working with today. It's, it's pretty simple. I'm going around and I'm just uh, doing some circles, checking out to see if we need to add some more trees in or not. But I, uh, I left the maps at work. Sorry, Andrew. It's all good though, because this site's not that complex. It's basically just a giant square. It's gonna be a good day though. It's quite lovely out. This side over here is done. The reason you don't see many trees on this side is because of the way leaves to do with these massive power lines. You don't want the trees getting big than interfering with electricity. So now I'm gonna go check over here. And I don't know if you can see it like there. It's a lot of damaged trees. I'm gonna take some pictures of that. Another thing we do is assess the health of the trees themselves. So this one here, you'll see uh, there's a huge amount of growth all the way up. That's one year's worth of growth. Been a good season. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Do you know why they all fell down? Because they're weak! Nah, it's actually because of wind blow. When one starts to fall, they all start to fall. The trees on the outside are the strongest and the trees on the inside of the coops are the weakest. So, yeah. I hope we don't manage this. Yo, and peep this. Look at the size of these things. Those are the root plates. Sitka spruce tends to grow with its roots very shallow along the soil. And in Scotland, shallow soils are quite endemic anyway because there's not much of a soil bank. See what I mean? It's a giant rock. It's just been pulled shit. It's just been pulled up. Fucking hell. You gotta be careful not to break an ankle around here. So uh, I get pretty lonely out here by myself. Like when I have somebody else with me, like my boy Nicholas or whatever, that's fine. But when I'm by myself, I kind of go stir crazy. So um, I might just start recording, like just blabbing at the camera and then release it. I don't know. What do you guys think? On second thought, I don't care what you think. Sight check number two. Uh, this is a very well established stand, but I'm just coming to check it out. The tree babies. They're basically tree teenagers at this point. Fun fact these trees are the Christmas trees that you buy in the shop or the plastic ripoffs that you get. Sick of spruce, baby. It's got many, many uses. Well, this is embarrassing. It turns out that Sick of spruce isn't a Christmas tree at all. The spikes are too spiky. It's honestly like getting punched with needles every time you walk through a stand of them. So let's check out the other ones that are actually Christmas trees. Had I performed a simple Google search before I started acting like I knew what I was talking about when it comes to Sitka spruce and Christmas trees, would have revealed, in fact, that they are not used as Christmas trees. The needles are just too sharp. They're too sharp and they're, and they're too pointy. Like, uh, they don't have any give. Whereas, like, with the, the Douglas fir tree, which is just here, this is the most popular version when it comes to Christmas trees because the needles aren't going to stab you and then, like, draw blood or... You know, it just cause significant pain. You can get some spruce trees that are used as Christmas trees, like this blue spruce because it's a beautiful color. Or this Norway spruce because it's got very soft needles. But Sitka spruce, no. It's so embarrassing as well because I told so many people that it's a Christmas tree. So many people. I want to take this opportunity now to apologize to everybody who I told it was a Christmas tree. You've got to give me a break. I'm still learning. It's just occurred to me as I'm walking through here that I'm paying more attention on my phone than I am to where I'm going. I mean, I got a GPS tracking device, so I'm okay. But if I didn't have that, I'd be screwed. Probably not a smart move. All right, well, this stand's fine. So I'm just gonna go back to the office. Peace out.